What's up everybody, it is Dan Cam. You know and I am back with another video. And what we're gonna be talking about today is going to be RAM. Now it is probably one of the most asked questions I get on my channel with all of the Omen content I do have. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to replace the RAM, what needs to be done after you replace the RAM, and also the RAM limitations. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's talk about the RAM limitations. So HP Omens are gonna come with either eight gigabytes, 16 or 32. And the majority of them are gonna come with a speed of 3200 megahertz. Well, I do believe some are at a speed of 2993, but the majority of them are gonna be standard with 3200 megahertz. So let's just say you had eight gigabytes and you wanted to upgrade to 16 and you went on Amazon and you bought an exact matching HyperX RAM stick and you installed it and you would see 16 gigabytes of RAM in your task manager, but you'd see the speed is much lower than it should be. And the reason for that is HP has completely locked their BIOS. So when you go into the BIOS, you can't enable XMP profiles. So when that happens, you basically have no control over the memory speed unless you buy the RAM directly from HP, which is extremely expensive and usually double to triple the price of just buying it from any vendor. Or if you have an AMD processor, you can use the program Ryzen Master to manually raise the speed. And unfortunately, if you are an Omen user that has an Intel processor, there is absolutely no way to raise the memory speed if you installed aftermarket RAM. So if you replace the current RAM that's in your system or add another stick, unfortunately, the defaulted speed is gonna be set down to anywhere from 2133 megahertz up to 2993 and will not run at the advertised 3200 megahertz that it should. So my Omen came with an AMD 3700X processor and it came with two eight gigabyte sticks of HyperX Fury RAM for a total of 16. So what I did was I ordered two 16 gigabyte sticks of G-Skill Rip Jaws RAM for a total of 32 gigabytes. And I'll go ahead and link down below exactly which RAM that I bought and I'll also throw up the specifications that were needed for my motherboard, but make sure you know exactly what specifications you need before you go ahead and order and replace the RAM. So I know a lot of people are new to PCs, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you exactly how to replace the RAM, and then we're gonna use the program Ryzen Master to manually raise the speed, and then we'll go over the results. So let's go ahead and let's get into replacing the RAM. So we're now taking a look at my motherboard and I am pointing out the tab on each side of each stick. And what you're gonna do is apply equal pressure and push down and the memory will pop up and you'll get a very satisfying click once it's released. And right here, I'm trying to point out the bottom of the RAM and how it's, um, it has a different lengths for the connections on the bottom, but I'll go ahead and show you that once we install the new one. So we'll just do it again. And there was the click. So I got both out of there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the RAM that I got in packaging. The G-Skill Rip Jaws, and each one is 16 gigabytes. So right here I show you that this side is longer than that side. So you just wanna make sure you line that up with how it looks on the motherboard and make sure the little slot in the RAM lines up with the one in the motherboard. And usually the logo is facing the front and then you're just gonna apply equal pressure on the RAM and you'll hear it click in. There it was. And then once it's fully inserted, you'll notice that both tabs are now upward. While when the RAM is disengaged, they are kind of laying flat. So here goes the second one. And 
there is the second satisfying click and the RAM is installed. Thumbs up, woo! And I just wanna show you with the stock RAM, what it ran at so you can see that there is 16 gigabytes of RAM and this speed right here shows 3200 megahertz. So we are now taking a look at my desktop and the G skill RAM is installed and it booted with no problems. And you can see it is now currently running at 32 gigabytes, which is great. But if you come down here to our speed, you can see the speed is much lower and it is at 2133 megahertz. Actually, um, a lot slower than I thought it would be. I thought this would default to 2400 because that's what HPs do, unfortunately, because you can't allow XMP profiles. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to our browser, whatever you may use, whatever search engine, and type in Ryzen Master. And then you're going to head to the first result, and it'll take you to AMD's website. And then you're going to go ahead and download it and install it. So once you get that downloaded and installed, let's go ahead and exit out of these. Uh, let's just min uh, let's exit out of Task Manager. We're gonna head down to Ryzen Master, which is actually already open, um, and then it'll bring you to the home page, and this will show you your CPU temperature and a bunch of other good info. Um, but what we're gonna do is head down to Profile One, which I already have set, because if you remember from a previous video, and I'll go ahead and link that but I undervolted my system and boost the core frequencies from 3.6 gigahertz up to 4.1. But I'll link that. I'm not gonna mention any of that in this video because I just wanna talk about RAM. So what we're gonna do is when you come in here, this is actually gonna be on excluded, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click included. And then once you're done, it should already be on 1600 if it's not you want to set this to 1600 because it's 1600 times two to run at 32 megahertz, 3200 megahertz, excuse me. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click apply and test. And what it's gonna do is gonna make you restart your system. So if all goes well, I will, uh, I will see you guys in a little bit. So I'm gonna stop the recording and click apply and test and show you the results. So the computer restarted and what happened was that Ryzen Master reopened and after restarting it ran its stress test and it brought us back to the home menu. And I didn't show you before, but the memory clock right here before was I believe 1067, which makes sense because it was running at 2133. But after applying the new profile, it is currently running at 1600, which is exactly what we run it to run at. So now the true test is to go down to our task manager and make sure that uh, it's running at 3200 megahertz. So let's keep our fingers crossed here. So let's go ahead and type in task manager into my recent. And we're going to go ahead over to the performance tab and then memory. And then as you can see, it is now currently running at 3200 megahertz. And you can see my 32 gigabytes of RAM is still all available for use. And this worked fantastic because I wasn't quite sure that the G skill would work with this. But as you can see, we are now at 3200 megahertz, which is, is appropriate speed. And uh, everything seems to be running fantastic. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. And it really is unfortunate that Intel users have no way to manually adjust their memory speed. So if you haven't purchased your Omen yet and you are watching this video, I would highly recommend that you go with a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM so you don't have to worry about upgrading in the future. And then 32 would really future-proof your system so you don't have to worry about upgrading it and not being able to get the speeds that the memory should be able to get. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. Um, it was an interesting one. And so far, it seems like the RAM has really helped with video editing and rendering. Um, I didn't notice too much difference while gaming because it seems like most of the games I play, it kind of maxes out around 11 or 12 gigabytes. But it's always nice to have that extra little bit of RAM. So I'm happy with the 
results that I got. And it just, it's such a bummer that Intel users have to go through this with omens and there's no way to adjust it. And it, it just really is a, a crappy situation. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like rating and subscribe if you are new. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.